Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So, as you'll have seen by the title, today's video is going to be an ASOS haul. And the observant among you might notice that we're in a different room. So, I thought I'd mix it up a bit. Today we are filming in the bedroom area. So, you have some nice robes on the back of the door. Bedside table, bed, you know how it is. There's actually a bit of a ridge on the bottom of this bed. So, I look ridiculous from the waist down. But that's fine because you can't see that. We've got Juliet balconies in our bedroom. So, it's quite a nice bed bit of light and I've put the mirror there for all the try on clips so yeah let me know what you think down below but we can always change it up a bit so anyway without further ramblings let's get on with the ASOS haul so as always I will be doing try on clips and they will look better on obviously they're quite hard to show but the first thing I got is this polka dot dress and I saw simply Holly Jane on Instagram if you don't follow it go and follow her she's got an amazing account and she's she's just top fashion inspo I feel like she always looks amazing but she shared this dress a picture of her wearing it and I just saw it and I was like yes that's a bit of me it is a midi dress and it's got like this really cute frill detail at the bottom and I'm just really excited to style this up I feel like it's really versatile and you can style it so many different ways so yeah I will show you in the try on clip how I decided to style it but that is the first piece that I picked up oh I've messed around with the lighting a bunch and I've had to shut the curtains so please it's use that but this is the first dress and I am so disappointed because I absolutely love the style of this dress I love the look of this dress but it doesn't fit <laughs> can you see that across my chest it fits everywhere else fits beautifully on the skirt you know no problems there even the sleeves where you think if it was too small it would be tight on the sleeves but no perfect fit but across the chest can you see that button that button is straining for dear life and it's just like squishing everything down. <laughs> I don't know why that's the case. I got my normal size and usually I'm okay with that. If they did this in the fuller bust range, that would be ideal. But you can see kind of how I just style it anyway, I hope. So I've just popped on my Topshop Western belt. I have got a bralette underneath to stop it sort of showing everything. <laughs> I guess you could wear it open like that but obviously that's not the vibe I was going for so I will be sending it back. I hope it gives you an idea of how nice the dress is anyway and maybe how you could style it if it fits you better. So yeah this is a bit of a shame but I still think it's a really lovely dress and if you're a bit smaller chested or I don't know maybe size up because then you can belt it anyway and it could be really lovely but unfortunately not for me. So next we have a little top. Oh that last dress was ASOS by the way. I don't think I said ASOS own brand this next top is Miss Selfridge and it is this little white puff sleeve crop top now I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this because it looks like it will be fairly cropped so something to wear with your more high-waisted items if if you want or if you want to show a bit of belly show a bit of belly but definitely for me it's gonna be a case of how much belly is on show because I'm not the biggest fan of my belly so don't really want to be getting it out but I just thought the sleeves on this were so cute look how poofy they are I think they're really cute I think this could look really nice with a variety of different bottoms um, it's sort of like a shirt material actually and then the front is that um, stretchy super stretchy materials so hopefully it'll fit okay as far as I know I did get everything in this haul in my usual size which is a 12 or a medium or shoe size I'm a 6 so yeah hopefully that'll help you out a little bit but yeah can't wait to try this on so next up to try on we have the Miss Selfridge puff sleeve shared top and I actually love this a lot more than I was expecting to. I've got it on with my Topshop paper bag waist shorts and I really like the way it looks. It is quite short um, but obviously these have got the lip to make them more high waisted. And I think with high waisted mom jeans they would work as well. I've just worn this with a 
Topshop plain white bandeau underneath and I think it looks fine. I would say that you need something underneath it whether it's just like nipple covers or a strapless bra or a bandeau but definitely something because it is a tiny bit see through. I've got to say I thought the sleeves might be too much but I absolutely love them. They just add a really cute touch to like quite a plain outfit. I styled it as if I'm going to a pub in the summer sitting in the beer garden drinking a glass of sweet rosé and having the best time ever so I've paired it with this chop chop straw bag, the shorts as I said and I've just popped on some plain ASOS white sandals. Of course you could wear heels with this but I've gone more casual for this one and I really like it so I'll definitely be keeping this top and I can see myself wearing it in a lot of different ways. The next thing I got is ASOS own brand again it's actually ASOS denim, I don't know if that's different but it is a little denim play suit. Again it's going to be so much easier to show in the try on but it is this um, like cream ecru colour I believe they call it with these little tortoiseshell buttons it's just a little play suit it's got a tie waist and cute little turn-ups on the shorts and big pockets I just thought this would be really easy to wear in the summer like one of those staple pieces you can really dress it up or dress it down I think I would probably wear this casually I'll show you in the try on clip what I decide but I'm gonna try it on with a few options and see how I like it but yeah, definitely a really versatile piece and really easy to wear. Okay, so I'm really struggling with this one. I will insert a picture of what the model looks like. I swear I'm not going mad. Like, I know it looks really bad, but trust me, the model rocked it. But I would just not know what to style with this. She had like a wicker bag on with it, which yeah, would look cute, definitely. Um, but because of the colour, I'm not quite sure what I'd even put with it. Like, you can't wear white shoes because it's like cream colour and I'm just not sure. The neckline's not helping, I don't really like the neckline or the sleeves. I like it from like there down, I think it's cute. If this was a pair of shorts, lovely, you know, that, that would be cute. No. Let me know down below if you have this and you rock it because I'm sure you can but I'm also very sure that I can't so this is going to be a big fat return. Next we have a skirt which is from Abercrombie & Fitch and fun fact I don't think I've ever owned anything from Abercrombie & Fitch and I can see why because it was quite expensive but I got it reduced. It is this gorgeous satin midi skirt and I am so so excited for this kit. This was the thing that prompted the order as well as the spotty dress that I saw on Holly's Instagram account. It's just gorgeous. It's got these little yellow flowers. I hope you can see that okay. Obviously you'll see better in the trial. It's a black satin with the little flowers and I just think with a pair of Converse and a t-shirt, cute. With a bodysuit and a pair of heels, cute. I, just, I was like yes. Yeah, this is such a summer staple. I know it's black, but it is floral, and you can really put some light colours with it because it's got white and yellow in the flowers. So with like a yellow bodysuit, amazing, a white bodysuit, white heels. Can you tell I'm really excited to try this one on? Because <laughs> I am really excited. And it feels amazing, really good quality, elasticated waist. So it might be a good one if you're going for a meal. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited to style this up. Hmm. I might have to give you two looks with this one so like a more dressy look and a more casual look but we shall see so next up is the Abercrombie & Fitch skirt I did say I was going to style it a couple of ways and this is obviously the casual way I've just paired it with this All Saints white t-shirt that I've tied up in the front and I think it looks really cute the skirt is lovely I was totally wrong about wearing it for a big meal you will definitely need a pair of spanks with this <laughs> unless you've got a flat stomach I know I definitely definitely would but that's fine because sometimes it's just nice to have pieces in your wardrobe that you do have to make a bit more effort to wear because you just feel a bit more put together in them. The perfect length for like a nice midi skirt on me I am five foot eight so I'm quite tall as well so we got away with that one I've just paired it with some sandals as well you could equally pair it with trainers I think that would look really cool but it just flows really nicely and it does have a layer underneath so you don't have to worry about you know just anything <laughs> it's nice to have that have that layer of security underneath there we go that lightens a bit better and the pattern is gorgeous and I think it is really flattering I know I said about wearing spanks and all that but I think you know it does skim over your hips in a really nice way it's just maybe that the belly in the front you know might need a little bit of you know just a, just a 
just just a bit you know but I think it is really flattering overall and I really like it styled in this way so I'm gonna try and dress it up now and I will show you how it goes so I've popped it on with the top from earlier and I think it is so cute I've also popped on a pair of heels this is such a nice summer evening you're going out for a meal somewhere a bit fancy you want to get dressed up and put on a pair of heels oh my gosh yes I love it I cannot wait to wear this outfit look with the little pre-mark heels old faithfuls I was thinking I was like oh I really need like a fairly simple but cute white crop top to wear with this so where would I find one of those hello it's in the hall it's basically a capsule hall yes I'm obsessed I love it I think it's so cute and I actually don't wear a lot of midi skirts but I really love this one so I might have to start giving them a go because this outfit is adorable. The next thing is from Pimpkey, which is a brand that I think I've owned some in from before, but not a lot of things. But I got it in a medium, and it is this mint green colored top. It was really the color that drew me to this more than anything, but it is just a round neck, almost like a vest you can see that but then it's got these lovely sheer sleeves I'm not sure about the bottom of the sleeves whether it looks maybe a bit inexpensive oh a bit cheap looking but I like the actual sleeves and they've got these little polka dots so yeah we'll sh we shall see I thought this would be again like really best off spring summer the actual best bit is really soft really nice and I absolutely love the color so yeah we'll see what it looks like not sure I'm not sure but you know sometimes go try these things on and I might end up loving it so yeah we'll try it on and see what we think um, I definitely don't hate it I think it actually looks better in camera than it does in real life um this is a pimpkey top by the way in case you because you can't see but yeah I still really love the color I like it with this white skirt this was from oh gosh where is this from River Island but potentially about four or five years ago <laughs> but still holding on to it yeah I don't know because it looks really nice on camera but then in person I'm not sure things like the bottom of the sleeves again I'm not sure if it looks a bit cheap and it's just quite sort of ill-fitting around the body although I think tucked in it works I would never wear it not tucked in because it just looks really dodgy but yeah, tucked in it kind of works. Yeah, I think it's an easy top to wear, it's an easy top to style. Yeah, it doesn't look the most expensive or whatever, but I think this was literally like $6.99, so it's not the most expensive top ever, so I don't know why I set such high expectations for the quality in that. But it is really comfy, the sleeves aren't itchy at all, and I do think it's cute with this outfit. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, yeah, I like it, we'll keep it. It's a nice, it's a nice top. It is a nice top. Next I thought we'd do something different and these are ASOS pyjamas. They're in the tall range. I can never find many tall pyjamas but pyjamas are the type of things that fit me once and then I wash them and then they don't fit me anymore. <laughs> so these are just really cute floral pyjamas. They're like a half sleeve classic style pyjama top, like a shirt style and then just long bottoms I believe, yeah, with an elasticated waist and a tie as well. Oh, the tie actually works as well, that's good. Um, so yeah, I just ordered these in my usual size, but obviously the tall, and I just needed like a nice summery pair of pyjamas really, and these were the only tall ones I could really find. The flowers are a bit brighter than they looked online, I will say that, so now I'm a bit like, not sure if you know what I mean like on one hand they're pajamas so it doesn't really matter but then on the other hand you are paying for them so you want a pair that you're really gonna like I think they're a bit out there a bit bright but you know I'll try them on I know it's weird to try on clipper pajamas but oh well it's all a bit weird over here isn't it so yeah I'll try them on for you and we'll see we'll see I'm not 100% sure but we'll see also the sun's just come out so I'm sorry if that messes with the lighting, hopefully it won't. <laughs> okay, so these pyjamas aren't as bad as I thought they were going to be on actually. They just kind of drown me a bit, look how long they are. I know I got tall and I am only 5 foot 8 but see this is what you get. You get a regular and they shrink and they're way too short. And then you get a tall and you look like you're wearing your dad's pyjamas. <laughs> so yeah, I think these are going to go back. Oh no, do I like them? Could you, could you make them work, make them a bit nicer? I mean, hey, there's nothing wrong with them. They look absolutely fine, but I'm just not sure I'm gonna keep them because I don't, 
I don't love them and I do already have pajamas that I prefer so yeah I think they're gonna be going back but I guess if you're in the market for some really really oversized very bright floral pajamas then you know where to go and we're finishing strong because the last thing I have is a pair of shoes from River Island I used to shop at River Island all the time and I've not got anything from them in a while actually so I was really excited when I saw these boots. You probably would if you had been talking in another haul or another vlog how I've got a dress that would look amazing with white boots and the more I've been thinking about it, the more items in my wardrobe I've been like, oh my gosh, and this would look amazing with white boots and this would look amazing with white boots. So here we have a pair of white boots. Uh, I thought these were so cute. I like it that they're not all white. They've got this black paneling, they've got a little um, ring detail at the back. They've got a heel but not too high. It's like a nice going for dinner heel or going for drinks heel. I just absolutely love the shape of these as well because they weren't too pointy. Some of them are very pointy and I find them just a bit too much for me. They're a bit too dressy for me if they're really pointy but I really like these. We'll try them on, we'll see. I got them reduced as well which was amazing. So yeah I'm gonna really enjoy styling these I think and I know there's already a few pieces in my wardrobe that I would absolutely love to them with. And this is the dress that originally made me think, oh, this would look nice with white boots. And yes, it does indeed look nice with white boots. Look how cute that is. I love it. Absolutely love them with this dress. I think they look really cute. And I think they really go with the overall vibe of the outfit because there's quite a lot of white in this dress. I think they'll go with other outfits as well, definitely. They would have gone lovely with that first dress that did not fit. <laughs> But yeah, I think these are so cute. They're really comfy as well. Like I said, they're not too high, so plenty comfy enough for walking around. These, they fit really well as well. I got my usual size, and I'm just super excited to see what other outfits I can pair these with. So that was the ASOS haul. Not too many items this time, but just enough to make it feel a little bit special. I hope you enjoyed the try-ons as well. I've not actually filmed those yet, but I'm so excited to try some of the pieces on, so hopefully it went well. But thank you very much for watching if you made it this far and please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and let me know down below what sort of videos you'd like to see from me in the future. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click the little bell and I will see you in my next video. Bye!